you do. Mm-hmm. I'm the first person in my family to go to college to have a dream to even think about just being something for myself. So nobody can determine me from what I got going on. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shaw, Shaw vs. A-Bite Podcast, episode 192. Best podcast in the city. If you think different, nigga, you, fuck, you fucked up, cuz. That's real talk. But we got special guests in the building. She got a lot of hats, too. She fucking uh, Miss 48219. You feel me? She was a yoga instructor back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, she got uh, a non-profit organization, Social Privilege, The Neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Uh, she used to be a hooper. Mm-hmm. She, I, I seen still some... hoop. Y'all see me at LA Fitness, though. Oh, okay. shit. Oh, shit. Okay, bad, bad. still be up there. Went to Memphis State University, you know what I'm saying? Tutor and shit, educator, rapper. We got Dripping Honey in the building. Ooh, What's good? Shout out to me. Hey, y'all. I knew you was a hooper because you follow some of my peoples. And yeah. they hoop. Shout out to my uh, my cousin, Brittany Dorsey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was my coach. For real? Well, you know Brittany. That's my fan. That's my coach. Oh my god, that was my coach. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how I feel high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shout that's to, so crazy. I'm like, yep, she gotta be a hooper. Yeah, and then uh, my homegirl, uh, Kiera, Kiera Van, uh, what's her? Yeah. Kiera Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yep. played with her uh, at Southfield too. Yep, yep, yep. Those, yeah, yeah. Those my people and shit. I coach too and shit. So ah. yeah, I coach with Brittany. Now. I used to do little dribblers. Okay, okay. At the YMCA too. So you can like really hoop, hoop. Yeah, for real. Meet me at LA Fitness. I <laughs> oh no, I ain't gonna fuck with you. She be fuck me up. Real quick, it's like my hoop day is over. I coach girls, mm-hmm. and I was hooping with them yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna tired. get I'm gonna get old. Yeah, no, I, I be tired now. I ain't gonna lie, like I've been tired, but no, I still get out there though. Like, would you want those, you know, little girls with hoop dreams back in the day? Yeah, of course I was. Like, I, I really was. I thought I was gonna go to the NBA like everybody else did because I had big dreams and I think big for myself. We just one like that by the time yeah. I got to 12th grade. Yeah, why? What, what what changed up with that shit? I'm just after I graduated college. I mean, high school. I just went to college. I didn't okay. play when I went to college, but. I was a sports major. Okay. So um, I was a um, sports management and leisure, and I got a minor in hospitality and resort management. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Shit, I need you around. Shit, we got. I got a son that needs help. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real, I got you. For sure. Now, before we start every episode, we do a thing called Salute Me While I'm Here. Okay. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them. They, you know, what I'm saying they love and they flowers. We wait for them to, you know, die. Be like, damn, I love him or yeah. I love her. But shit, receive that shit while he's still here. Yeah. But it can't be the easy answer. It can't be. It can't be parents. You got, I don't know if you got kids. I don't mm-hmm. know if you're in a relationship. It got to be somebody outside that easy answer. And you got to still be uh-huh. living. Because okay. niggas make well, the mistake. I would say definitely all my students. Mm-hmm. Like every student I done had. And I done taught in Tennessee. I done taught in Georgia. I done taught in, in Michigan. Mm-hmm. And I also did this program one time. And they asked the teachers like... Um, like, what's your reason why you do this? Mm-hmm. And this one lady told me, like, I was the only one said because of my students. Like, the mm-hmm. kids is why I do this. So, sure. I would say, like, I love them. I tell them all the time, like, I love you. They make me more vulnerable. They make mm-hmm. me more emotional. You mm-hmm. know, so, I would say all my kids. And mm-hmm. I always call them my kids because there's so many of them. No, so, sure. when I say my kids, I'm probably talking about 300 plus. Mm-hmm. How important is it to be that positive role model, that person they could talk to, you know what I'm saying, touching, you know what I'm saying, whenever they need, you know what I'm saying, some I help or something? I feel like... It's important to just be yourself Mm -hmm. and let people see that. And when you showing somebody your true self, you have to be honest, not telling lies, not uh, deceitful, just Mm -hmm. sneaky. You have to show your whole self because I'm this good person because the people I have in my life and they wasn't nobody but themselves. Mm -hmm. They was already humanitarians and doing this and giving back. And I've been doing Meals on Wheels. My my granny is 94 right now. Oh, she's out doing Yeah, I've been doing Meals on Wheels with her since I was three years old, bagging up. Um, My granny lived on Linwood and Ford. We've Mm -hmm. been giving back to the community have to walk down there on holidays and do this and pass this out like i've been doing this i've been doing that i've been reaching out like so it's nothing i'm not like I'm about to be a role model for you. I'm just coming to you and I'm being who I am and it's I'm like, trying to yeah, see how I can help you. you. Yeah. I tell my sister, like, what y'all into? What y'all be doing? <laughs> like, you know, sure. how can I help you? I'm like, y'all got a business or something? I'm like, I paid the $50 to give, get your EIN. Like, what are y'all into? What do you love? Like, what do you do? Like, them a the conversation. So, mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't meeting nobody trying to be somebody just an uh, influence and they like, I'm just trying to be me mm-hmm. and make good relationships with people. Yeah, but they, be, they need that knowledge. They need that game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Because that's a lot, a lot of things. These kids are lacking that stuff. The school ain't, some of the teachers in that school really don't care. They just going there for a paycheck. But you they got some that out. yeah, but you got some that really do care and really give a damn about the kids. And you got no difference. And it's very small amount of the ones that really care about. You. Yeah, I would honestly say that like I don't have any kids, mm-hmm. and I can say like 
a lot of people that I work with, they are burnt out. They're tired. Mm. They don't want to be here. They want. They don't want to go the extra mile. They don't want to um, stay for all the games when it's soccer and basketball and this and the third. Mm. They got to go home to their kids. They'll say it even if they is at the game. All right, y'all, come on. Get out now. I got three kids at home. Woo, woo. But I'm there. I'm like, who need a ride? What's up? We all, you good? How you mm. here? Your Uber came? Yeah, all right. I sit and wait for you. Oh, yeah. I got a student that goes down the street that sit us up. I go sit up, sit up there with her to 530 every day. Mm. Just because I'm a female too. I would be really scared if I had to by myself like yeah, you know yeah. like, I, I get mad at some parents because like I, said, I coach basketball and we only have practice like once twice a week mm -hmm. and it'd be like the parents that they not they not bring their kids because they work they not bring their kids because they lazy mm -hmm. like bro like your kid need this like just just stop being lazy get off your ass and take them to practice take them to you know what I'm saying keep them out the streets keep mm -hmm. them doing something you know what I'm saying positive with themselves and Stop just sitting on your ass and just smoking weed and niggas saying fuck the kids. Like, yeah. Because that's what's happening a lot of times. Like, they, you ain't doing shit that one hour or a half an hour and a half. You, you could have got up and did that shit. Yeah. You know definitely. what I'm saying? I have parents that wouldn't even want to drop their kids off around the corner to the school for homecoming and yeah, stuff. That's I'm wild. pulling up because I'm already dropping off clothes, shoes, the jewelry, everything. I'm getting you everything you need. I'm like, hey, what's up? You, mm -hmm. How you about to get there? I don't know. Yeah. Ms. Ronald, can you take me? Can I take you? I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to be sitting outside. Sure. We yeah, walking yeah. in hand in hand together. Mm -hmm. Like, it's nothing for me. No, it ain't nothing at all. Ain't... My salute real quick before um, is uh, I watched this, this game last night. Uh, Julius Rollins. Dog, it was up. Kent State was up on Akron um, by what? One point with like eight seconds left, and nigga fouled him and lost the game. They was they had record at seventeen and sixteen, so that they needed that win to go to the March Madness. And he mm -hmm. fouled them, and then as soon as you see on social media, get the don't come on campus, motherfucker, or <laughs> you, nigga, like, like damn, like because when when shit moving so fast, mm -hmm. niggas forget, and he just made a little mistake, even though it cost them the game. Mm -hmm. It's like, nigga, like, you go on that social media, that shit will fuck you up. Yeah. So I want to send him some flowers. Hey, man, it was a fuck up. It was a mistake. It was a messed up mistake, but yeah. hey, you don't need to get threatened on motherfucking social media that you're yeah. going to die and shit. Like, that shit crazy. And I will tell my students, like, because I'm at every basketball game. You can ask the referees. Everybody know me. I'm at the games loud. But mm. I would tell them, even when they get mad at each other and yelling at each other and screaming at each other, I'm like, at the end of the day, y'all a team, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So one little mistake, it was so many mistakes in this game. I know it was the end and stuff like that, but people who ain't never been a part of the team, never don't know what it is, working with somebody and know the heat of that, y'all really shouldn't even have an opinion. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like that, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? You having so much opinion. You've never been in the heat of a game. Mm -hmm. You don't even know what a suicide is, for real. <laughs> yeah, for you know sure. what I'm saying? We ain't wearing 20 of them, but go try to tell. They have to run, what, for like 35 minutes straight? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For like Y'all don't have no room yeah. to talk. You yeah. ain't did nothing to say, yeah. say oh, you uh, do it do it like this, nigga. You show me how to do it. <laughs> Came and do it. Like. You can't even show me. <laughs> I've been seeing these niggas be training, niggas just be sitting there. Can you like, run? Nigga, like, directing. Do that. Like, nigga, show them. Like, yeah. bro, yeah, but shout out to these whole ass coaches. Yeah, man. shout out to you. <laughs> yeah. No, we got, we ain't talked about kids. We ain't talked about basketball. I don't want to go into the music, you know, saying mm -hmm. first, I like to do it, you know, in the middle. Yeah. But I got to ask, uh, the whole thing that went viral with you and your song, you know, saying dripping 101. Mm, yeah. And you was out there with the kids, you know, mm -hmm. saying, you know, saying it was, it was hype for you too. <laughs> yeah. Just give me like the, the backstory on that a little bit. Like, how did everything take place? Like, because of course the caption say, you know, fired. Yeah. As soon as you go out there, you nigga going yeah. crazy, you know what I'm saying? Shooting yeah. the video and shit. So, kind of like touching that a little bit. Um, at the end of the day, once you don't work no, work somewhere no more, mm -hmm. all bets are off. I don't know, and I'm not. Some people like have their opinions, but I'm not fucked up about nothing. I've been working since since work was work. You know, like <laughs> sure. you know how many jobs I did live and got for you know, like you know what I'm saying. Like, and not because I did something, because I'm saying I don't care. When I was 17, working at the movie, so I'm not tripping. Like you, you always have to move on. Like, but I'm an educated black woman, so I'm not worried about that. Mm -hmm. But when I um dropped back in like October, because I really haven't dropped no single last year or like all year mm. until like the like october so you know my kids going to homecoming that's my homecoming time and stuff like that mm. with detroit rap daily posting me mm. it went viral in the school too yeah, like yeah, yeah. uh and most time baby did good like was mm. dripping on but it went good so that right there it stands from um I had to have a conversation with my students too because it was something new to them. I'm mm. always on Detroit Rap Daily mm. because because I was new to this school in this district. Y'all don't know me, mm. so once you see somebody like, "Hey, I see you," like yeah, for sure. it hit different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was a different experience for them. But I never 
engaging them. They didn't know until I went viral for yeah, real. Yeah. Which and I don't even feel like I went viral. I'm always on there. It's yeah. just y'all didn't know me yeah. and never seen me in person, so it just hit different. You're like, oh, this like, is my that's teacher. Yeah. yeah, and but soon as I was like, I seen y'all little faces. I had blocked all of them mm-hmm. because I still knew <laughs> it was my job though. Like you know, mm-hmm. and I had told them like at the end of the day, this is about y'all. Mm-hmm. Us coming Monday through Friday. I said nobody in this world see me as much as y'all do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for y'all, helping y'all get to a goal, and that's for y'all to get y'all diploma. And no matter what you want to be in this world, this the, the high school is step one for everybody. For sure. No matter if you're a doctor, you want to be a podcast, you want to be a rapper, well, majority of everybody at least got to this no, step. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. what I'm going to help you do. Mm-hmm. I'm the first person in my family to go to college, to have a dream, to even think about just being something for myself so nobody can determine me from what I got going on. For sure. Then I had a meeting, the first meeting, it was just like the, a, a parent wished to stay anonymous and she felt as if I was a bad influence on her kid because mm-hmm. she came across my social media. Mm. If you don't like it, block me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, you know yeah, 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 for sure. I, and I, I, when I'm in a meeting, the first meeting, I didn't say not one word. I was just listening. I don't have to talk. All I have to do is just listen. Yeah. So I never initiated. They said I wasn't in trouble. This was just a warning. But I'm like, warning me of what? I feel like you just let me know something. Mm-hmm. This is not a warning. This You just let me know what a parent think. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> it was just... It was, I won teacher of the month in December. Mm. I won teacher of the month and I knew it was about to be like something crazy because like uh, administration came in, but they came in my room like soon as the bell rang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, you no know time. black yeah. folks, like you read the room. Yeah, for administration sure. never came in my room that late. <laughs> you know, they was like, yeah, they want you to delete your content. Go, ooh, ooh, ooh. The parent, uh, she still call it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it was, it was so much going on because I just won teacher of the month. I'm reading all it. I'm just like, I didn't know what was going on, mm-hmm. but you can read that. I got, I still got, probably got it in the car. Didn't I read it to you? Like uh, she is an icon. She's the only one that care about. She don't even listen. She don't want to come to our game. She don't want to cheer for yeah. us. She do like, it was just so much stuff. Somebody said, y'all should have been gay. That girl that award. Y'all know y'all did her wrong. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's natural. It's just, it's just a natural ability me for me to love on people and do certain things. And mm. I said, had that parent come in the classroom and watch me teach, come to my girl club, exactly. come to parent teacher conference. Mm. I got 125 students, 10 parents came to parents teacher conference i gotta I, it don't matter what i do y'all don't be there mm-hmm. when i do it, it y'all yeah. never there it be me i'd be the only adult around yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, so sure. everything that i do y'all never there so come see me teach come really see me in that professionalism that you say i don't have yeah, you're gonna change your whole outlook school yeah. was from seven to three you said yeah. I, mean, I can't do nothing else <laughs> <Is> that- <laughs> Yeah. Would you- <laughs> and I need, I need, I, I'm just sorry because this was irritating me. I need teacher that's gonna um, lesson plan. Woo, 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 woo. If you're a real teacher, you do that in the summertime, baby. I mm-hmm. do sixteen. I do a sixteen week lesson plan in the summertime, so I got to do it with school. Why? Because I need to focus on them For sure, and see yeah. where they at and yeah. do that type you put, of day. Get your shit together. What are you talking about? I, th- this is why I love being a teacher. I got the whole summer to plan. Get this when I school do start. I got my whole plan. And all I got to do is give the instruction. Mm-hmm. It's called structural design, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Like. Yeah. If you would have seen this, like, or knew it was going to happen, would you would have had, like, oh, oh shit. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 you want to get that for you? Yes. <laughs> oh, <mouthful. laughs> keep that, keep that. <laughs> That's real shit. But no, would you would have changed anything, or you just like, fuck it, this is me, um, this is what you're going to get? Man, like, I wish, like, y'all could have been there and, like, actually see the influence and impact and like and if you didn't see like my caption that i wrote it's not about job placement i want people to know the real impact and influence that i have well my kids don't even care about me rapping mm-hmm. they didn't know yeah. when i'm in school they ask me what does entice me what does monopoly mean what does ca- i teach u.s history okay. i'm a black woman i wear uh martin luther king and malcolm x shirts and black lives matter and trayvon yeah. martin shirts to work every day mm-hmm. like I'm at work working, teaching them about the history. When y'all was on strike, doing all that, I'm saying, hey, can y'all send me some videos about y'all strike so I can teach my kids this? Because right now we're doing labor unions. Mm -hmm. I'm really talking to the community to come back, give me information so I can teach them. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm teaching between seven and three. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It it, it doesn't matter what you say, or Mm -hmm. I don't even remember what the question was, so I'm going to be irritated. I was saying, like, if you knew this this outcome was going to take place, would you have switched things up? No, I wouldn't know, because the love, listen... And I watch Battle Royale too. Like, you can't copy respect. Real sure. shit. I yeah. mean, I'm so sorry because my kids watch it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you can't copy respect, real love, real influence. Like, I really do really good things. Yeah. After Valentine's Day, I get everybody something. The teacher, well, they they like, oh my God, I wish we could really get back to this. Like, I do stuff people re- really wish they could. Mm-hmm. That's just love on people. Tell everybody they look beautiful. I get everybody one. Boys, yeah. girls, everything. You to mm-hmm. go. You this. Act like... 
I wouldn't change anything on my last day. They had rose petals down my stools when I walked. I was crying. I looked messed up yeah. and bold in the video. I was crying the whole yeah. day. Yeah. I cried to work. Like, this was real. Me and my students, we was crying. Like, mm. this was real for us. Mm -hmm. It was real for us. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was crying. I ain't brushed my hair. They, my kids picking me up like, Miss Brown, it's okay. Right. They trying to make me feel. I, I'm just looking at them. I was breaking down. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was, it was very, it felt like a funeral that day. For sure. And you, I could tell just by your conversation, you passionate about the yeah. kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is like like I I talk a shit about my producer, but he know how to separate the two. He a hood ass nigga, but he can fuck with them corporate motherfuckers at the same time. Baby, I'm from the forty two and nine. Like you know what I'm saying? And it's my nonprofit is social privilege in the neighborhood because I believe the neighborhood mm -hmm. I, I came from. I probably wouldn't be here if I did grew up on Seven Mile where I did and this, that, and third. I feel like this was made for me. This is yeah. what it was. Mm -hmm. When I grew up, we thought our whole block was our family. I didn't yeah. think they was my neighbors. Like, I didn't, like, they were my neighbors. You grew up Manchester, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm thinking this is my family. Like, so it's just different for me. Like, mm -hmm. so I believe in the neighborhood. Like I told you. I'm living on Seven Mile. When I go to my grandma's house, I'm on Linwood. We give it back to the community. Everybody is family. This is mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. People ride past my grandma's house. That's Miss Brown house. Yeah. And now I'm Miss Brown. So, <laughs> so you know, I, and I, I feel proud yeah. of that. Like, no, you know what I'm sure. saying? Hey, Miss Brown, can you help me, Miss Brown? Like, that makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. And, like, like when somebody told you, like, what you want to be when you grow up, when you grow up, you don't stop being stuff. You mm -hmm. don't stop trying no. to be stuff. No. I'm an educator. Ain't I'm no an artist. I'm a humanitarian. I'm an activist. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really this, and mm -hmm. I want to be the best at this, and I'm thinking of something else I can be. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you don't stop doing what you're doing. You're not too old for nothing. I don't have these many years here anyway. Yeah, so no, why am I no. indulging everything that I am mm -hmm. already? Yeah, no, for sure. So I wouldn't change it. Now, before you was in the rap game, and say you a parent, and you see their teacher, you know, saying as a rapper and stuff. Would you have anything to say about that? Um, no. Just like, it. comment, subscribe. <laughs> or move on if I don't exactly. like it. Yeah, that's I never it. go out my way to hate. Like literally, if I don't like something, next. That's it. That's it. I'm not about to like it. Say y'all. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not about to do all that. I don't go out my way to hate. I don't like it next. Like For it's sure. not that. Ain't like you Seriously. out there going and hey y'all come listen to this or come do it. You separate. You teaching. You a teacher. Like you said from seven to three. You a teacher. They found me because I got motion. Yeah. yeah. Now if I didn't have no motion, you would have never found me. <laughs> For sure. Hell like yeah. that's what it is. You mad? I got motion. I'm going What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think as long as you take care of your business, what you do outside, you ain't. Out here, you know what I'm saying, making pornos or something First like that. Of all, like, you like, you most your time baby is important oh, because we are yeah. most time babies. Mm -hmm. What is that? What, what everybody parents 50, 60 years ago used to come here to either what? Work, get a job in our factory or, music. or do music. <laughs> exactly. Nigga, it's in our water. We all do music. We love music. You mad at me because I love music. Yeah. Who don't listen to music? For sure. Y'all they playing sexy red at the basketball games that I that, that I'm at. Mm -hmm. Y'all playing at the PD. No, meeting. for sure. Y'all doing this at a third. Yeah, but yeah. everybody mad at me because yeah. I'm rapping. Exactly. No, I've you been that's rapping. a fact. You I've been rapping since I was in high school, but what? I still got a college degree. Mm -hmm. I'm still getting a college degree. Uh, like, like y'all don't never did nothing. I'm just so like going back and forth with people to just like, yeah. what have you accomplished? Yeah. What have you did? Like, mm -hmm. go on my YouTube channel. I'm giving free clothes away every month. I'm doing this. I got parents that's coming to give me hugs because whatever, and I'm not putting a business. Out, whatever they going through, I helped them with yeah. whatever situation they was. They just want to come give me a hug because mm -hmm. I thought of them. My kids are literally. My kids are first of all they six eight. I got a six eight uh, boy. He crying. I'm like, what's wrong? You know, but this is real life. He had a family member that passed away. What I do? I on my break, I go down to the Dollar Tree uh, producer. I go <laughs> get a car. I'm telling all the kids, y'all friend is sad right now. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to sign this car. Give him a hug. Tell him, you know, what I mean, he gonna be okay. Tell him that he can text you whenever. Like I'm teaching them just how to be a nice person as well, to be somebody somebody can count on, yeah. and just how to be a good friend. That's what's important too. When they come in a room, I'm making them like, oh. oh I be like, oh my God, well, you not smiling? Yeah. I be like, you ain't say hey to that. I, I, I act like I'm losing my mind. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To make my problem, yeah. I'm losing my mind so they know to be more respectful, care about other people around but, you. But you gonna always be that teacher that they never forget. You know what I'm saying? You need those. Who, who was that teacher for you that you never forget that helped you out when you was back in school? Um, uh, I went to St. Gerard, okay. a private school right next to Henry Ford, mm. starting off. Mm. And I would say... A lot of my teachers was black. Mr. Patterson, Mr. Ali, mm -hmm. the ladies in the office, all of them. Like, And then for myself, I had good experience as a student. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like I'm a good teacher as well. I did have, you know, I wasn't, I didn't have behavior issues or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like my my teachers was good. Except mm -hmm. for like a couple of them once I got to middle school. But now my teachers are becoming white teachers now. Yeah. So now I, I, we, we. 
it's always going to be a disconnect sometimes. For sure. no, you know, for just sure. sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, because, like I said, uh, one of my students, how did he just had a past? And, like, they might not know how to be, you know, passive with that. And just, mm-hmm. you know, understand it. Because different yeah. walks. No, for sure. For sure. For sure. And that's something that you probably can go through. Me and you got this a light. We both lost our parents. Mm-hmm. My, uh, my pops passed when I was 13. My mom passed when I was 24. So, you know what I'm saying? How... Like losing a parent, like what did that do to you? Of course, mm-hmm. you you always remember it, but what when was you able to accept it and be able to move on and continue on with you know what I'm saying your goals in life? Yeah, I, I think first my dad died when I was ten. Okay, so I feel like dealing with that so young, so early, that made me a realist. Mm-hmm. Like I just understand real life, mm-hmm. like and things that have happened to me and been detrimental is because of death. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like I just understood that, and I know like a person will be here one day and then they gone. Like, mm-hmm. but from a young age, but also why I say school is important. My I remember my school support my family through that though. Mm-hmm. I remember being a fourth grade. I didn't go to school like that fourth grade because my 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 dad passed away. I got all brothers. My mama had got like kind of sick, sick, you know, like a love sick because mm-hmm. she lost her love, you know. Yeah. So it was just it was just different but they was there for me so when it was my daddy died april 23rd so when it was the month of april they would just do nice things for me yeah, or just yeah. you my know it would be different april 2nd, so yeah, yeah. April 4th, yeah. <laughs> my daddy birthday march 26th they would just do different things like i had good teacher miss fashion and all oh, like they were just good people. Like, mm-hmm. my remember my mama told me Miss Fashion had a canary on. She was like, your teacher got money. <laughs> she was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, <laughs> and her husband worked at the plant. Like, I just remember these things. Miss mm-hmm. Marion, she from New Orleans when she moved to Detroit because after Hurricane Katrina, mm-hmm. I remember my mama bought her a uh, chip maker for Christmas and stuff like that. Like, I had good relationships with my teacher. Mm-hmm. But also, my mama came up to the school too, though. You yeah, feel me? Athlete. Like, you got to be involved. Ask you me do. how I'm doing. And I have another parent. They're educators as well. And we got really cool because she was like, Hey, when we first met at parenting conference, she was like, My baby's Jimmy. I was like, Oh, that's my baby too. I mm-hmm. love you. I be all up in their business. Yeah. But she was like, I just respect you so much for that. I want to know my kid is respected where he at, why they gone for so long. And somebody is treating them too mm-hmm. like that's their child and would be supportive of them. You know? So it's just like I'm doing this naturally. Yeah, no, for sure. Hell yeah. It, losing parents, do that make you love harder now? Because um, you lost definitely. Some... It made me more emotional. Oh shit. Like, okay, Tell me so about I it. Recently... God damn, I, I'm a real nigga. Tell okay. me about it. I think okay, so <laughs> I, I lost my dad it. first, but I still had my mama. So I feel like I'm not saying like she filled that void, but like I feel mm. like I didn't I didn't know what I was missing because I had her. Yeah. But I feel like once I lost her, mm. it was like How old was I... you when you lost your mom? I lost her in 2020. Okay, okay. Then, yeah, how old yeah. I was don't matter. Okay, okay. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you good. I apologize. Nah, you good. Okay, okay. You good, but um, November 2020. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because uh, you that's some real shit you said. Like, when you lose parents, like, I never was a type of person that cry about stuff. But it's like certain things. Bro. God damn. Like, I can't watch Crooklyn. After my mama, <laughs> yes, I got so emotional. Because I think about my mama like, oh, shit, good damn, my wife right there, my kids, I'm all cussing yes. them out. Get on my face. <laughs> and I feel like I used to sleep in the bed with my mama. I don't care who garden I was. I was, yeah. I was sleeping in the bed with my mama. Like, so I feel like that also made me have like separation issues. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, and stuff like that because I just, I'm just so used to being with who I love. No, for sure. So yeah, it just yeah. hit different, but definitely even, okay, shout out to Miss Wright because I worked with Miss Wright as well and we used to co-teach together mm-hmm. and she was like, I feel like after my losing my mom, I wasn't, I didn't know how to be receptive to love anymore mm-hmm. either. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like people were just trying to, with my family, which is nothing wrong with that, just like trying to do things to make me happy because I was so sad. Yeah, yeah. And I'm such a lovable person. I was feeling sad. Then, you know, people even going out that way to try to make me sad because I want to yeah. make other people sad because why I'm sad. You know, all that. <laughs> sure. So it's just like, yeah, it just got you everywhere. And yeah. it's just emotional. So I yeah. just be crying. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And I don't be want to because I'm not like that. And yeah. my mama used to say too, like, I mean, you don't never cry. You don't, like, girl, what, how can I get you to cry? I be to cut. <laughs> but now I'm just crying. I'm like, look what you did to me. Man, what what's something that you you can't watch or can't listen to that's gonna make you just automatically get emotional thinking about parents and shit. Man, what like not? Said, me, what quick, not? Like I said, quickly, I can't watch that shit. Like, just... <laughs> listen, like that death is something crazy. Is. I, I literally rolled past TGI Fridays in Southfield. What's that, Evergreen? Yep, 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 yep. I broke down. Yeah. I, I I had just. Just taking a glance of it, I had to remember the day I was supposed to go in there and eat with my mom and my brother. Mm-hmm. But you know, like as family, you know, with your kids, or whatever. Yeah. We had such a big disagreement. I never even walked in, mm-hmm. but that shit hurt me because I'm just uh, having a flashback of how I could have changed that whole atmosphere that day and just mm-hmm. went in yeah. and had that dinner and had that time. So it's just like it don't got to be a movie. It could be a 
person, place, or thing. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? No, for Even sure. if I see my mama friend that she love, and I was like, I have to like, my mama used to love you. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just be stuff like that. So it can be literally anything. It doesn't yeah, matter no, what it is. Shit. I literally drove past TJ on Friday and was just breaking down crying. I was fucked up though. Yeah, no. But that that vivid image just came in my head so quick, yeah. and it just made me sad. No, for sure. I think yeah. we was in a car together. We went to Kayla house. Yeah, I was yeah. fucked up. I had to tell my auntie last night to chill out because um I've been putting this together like um for this year every month. We go to somebody's house and we kick it. Mm-hmm. So my auntie's like, hey, your mom be so happy for y'all. I'm like, Candy, chill, chill. For real? You can't, <laughs> like... You gotta chill right now. For real? It, <laughs> you know hit, what I'm it hit different. I'm like, playing spades. I ain't trying to cry. Like. <laughs> I swear, people like... you. My little brother tell me, like, sometimes I can't look at you because you look just like my mama. Yeah. So even that's hurtful because I understand because my mama oldest brother, they look just alike. Mm-hmm. I be ready to break down when I see my yeah. uncle. He look just like them when he talk, what he do. I be like, <laughs> they both crazy. He's like, y'all just got down on that nigga. I'm like, boy, you know, just like... Man, that's funny. It's gonna be yeah. crazy. No, my that's... auntie too. She yeah. she's very proper, but she looks just like my mom too. And my mm-hmm. auntie just like, hi Dominique, I love you so much. And yeah. I just like, girl, this is not talking to me. What advice would you give somebody right now? Is like just going through it because they lost a parent. They just they fucked up. They don't know how to move. They don't know mm-hmm. what to do, or they just taking out in anger. You know, saying yeah. treat people bad or just not giving a fuck. Like, what's your advice to that person, that young person, or that old person yeah. that just don't know how to deal with losing a mom or a dad? Or is it somebody real close to Yeah. Him? I would honestly say, like, I mean, I would just say I love you for one and, like, mm. stay strong because, like, it's no words. It's nothing mm. that's going to fill that void. It's never, like, for me, I feel like it's never going to be okay. Like, mm. my mama's gone. My daddy is gone. Like, I, it's just never going to be okay. So, mm-hmm. knowing that it's never going to be okay, you still got to get up every day and do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. You know? And that's be, that's the hard part. And we're, like, I feel like grieving is to be so bold because... Mm. You still got to go back to work. Mm-hmm. Phone bill still do. Cardo still do. Yep. It was like, shit still do, so... Shit ain't stopping. The best advice my mama ever gave me, she would say, Dominique, live your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, before some Instagram shit, before everything, my mama told me, like, you got to live your life for you. And, like, whether I'm here or not, Dominique, I gave you this life to live. It's like, not. that's what my mama were. I gave you this life to live. So, mm-hmm. I'm going to do the best I can to be all I can be. Yeah. And my mama used to drop me off at school. She was like, learn all you can learn and be all you can be. For sure. All yeah. you can be. So, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's no caps. So what yeah. you can be? Yeah, cause our, my mom last conversation, my mom died April second. So when I call people, they like, nigga, this April Fool's my like, dog. Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it was kind of like the yeah. day after that shit, <laughs> but I had spoke right at night that night because um me and my uh, my girlfriend time had broke up, so you know had to come back to the crib a little bit. You know, real nigga shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we had talked that night before. My mom last words like was like, dude, sometimes you had to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Just to make things right. Like, I was complaining about something. Like, I don't want to do this. I got to pay this. Like, sometimes you just got to be broke and just sacrifice yeah. and pay that bill and just yeah. keep it moving and get the money back. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to just... So now when I think about shit like, dog, I got to pay this, I think about what she said. Like, dog, you just got to do that shit. Man up. Don't be bitching yeah. about it and just do what you got to do. Definitely. Yeah, man. You got to. Let's get off this. And everything... I know. Okay. <laughs> you going to be like, ah! Okay. <laughs> Me and Motown baby, this boy crying. No, I'm sorry, but no, that song been stuck in my head. Well, yeah. So I'm, I, like I said, I was at the crib like Motown baby got me like the eighties. Like Motown baby <laughs> going crazy like the eighties. For sure, for sure. But one last thing though, who can you talk to when times get hard? Like, like who keep you your mentals right? You know what I'm saying? First of all, this fool right here. For sure, yeah. But like, <laughs> we so petty and so yeah. uh, dark humor. Yeah. <laughs> So if I'm going through some, they about to talk about me, Cap. I'm about to talk about myself. Like, mm-hmm. so I just feel like we so silly. I love that for us. Like, mm-hmm. so it's like me, him, and my sister. For sure. Shout out to Whitley. So I feel like us and our SOB gang, that's our group. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because we stand on business. <laughs> but like, <laughs> for sure. Like, we just, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, but I, it's just really them for me. Like, I, I, I honestly would, like, my cousins, my brothers, my sister, I wouldn't be here mm-hmm. without them. Like, even after losing my parents, like, like, when I say they just like there for me and I don't care I, he was rushing me out the door today to get here like I'm gonna be nothing without them for real I can sure. talk about them about everything it doesn't matter yeah. if I need them they come in like so mm-hmm. definitely brother sister cousins for I sure. love all of them hell yeah hell yeah love to the fam and shit how did 2024 like how this year been going for you what were some goals you had coming from 2023 that you wanted to accomplish personally and on the music side like and with shit, with so much, you got so much shit that you yeah. do. What's some things that you want to accomplish and keep it moving and keep it going for 2024? Um, so for 2024, definitely, um, I dropped Honey Economics, so that's my EP. For so sure, yeah, you dropped that January. All, yep, January 17th, and I've been last year. I really got into numerology and just dealing with numbers and making it make sense like that. So, mm. like 
from when, and when I drop things and post things, it's all about the numbers, you mm. know, to make me successful mm. because, you know, it's 2024. That's a money year. You know, four is a, is a number of money. And then from eight, you get um, wealth. Okay. So with that being said, and I'm a Pisces and we are literally and still in the Pisces month and Pisces mm. and Venus sons are together to where like I really seen for the numbers that I was going to have good luck. Mm -hmm. Like after my birthday, it was going to turn up for me. For sure, for sure. And it really did. So definitely read my numerology book, staying positive and doing good. Like I put so much good out there. I know it's going to come back to me. For sure, so yeah. that's just it. Just keeping up with my honey economics, streaming that, doing that, and just, just literally making progress every day. Like mm -hmm. every day something needs to be done. It doesn't need to be even like, when I was like, uh-uh, I need to get a fire so I can let everybody know I'm coming. Mm. You know, I make yeah. that woo-woo. Like, yeah. I really like that for What's real. Up? I make that shit quick as hell. Oh. Yeah, dope, bro. Right, let me go ahead and put this out there. Because yeah. <laughs> like, we, we air this on Tuesday, so usually I just kind of like promote it between yeah. today and Tuesday and shit. But no, yeah, I might make it. Shit, I'll post that shit. Yeah, definitely. But I, I'm like that. You like, gave me a couple followers too and shit. Yeah, and that's like just... <laughs> <laughs> and that's just like me helping though like you know what I'm saying like let me get a fire for this when I perform that lust I made my own fire for that too but I'm giving this to the business too like here here go the template too you can use it I'm just mm -hmm. I'm just a resourceful person yeah you seem like a very helpful person mm -hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying give me borrow a dollar yeah. so, <laughs> <laughs> but no I got you. what's something that you feel that's still holding you back though like that's that you need to work on within yourself that take you over or, oh, you know what I'm saying yeah um, you know you don't need to help everybody. That's the problem. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. there's some people that owe me money. And I want my money. I don't care. I'm the big CEO. Put shit in motion. I'll put a nigga on if he ain't got no motion. Niggas ain't had no motion. And they owe me something. And I need that. Damn. Fuck so. That's how I feel like. I shouldn't have gave niggas no motion mm -hmm. at all. That's how I feel. You could've, I could have left you where you was at. Yeah, you yeah. ain't had no motion anyway. And then you going to do that to the big CEO? <laughs> yeah, you feel sure. me? Like, that's how that's I be so helping big, niggas now. <laughs> Is it hard, though, like, to, like, somebody that you've been helping... Is it hard to like say, nigga, no, 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 I can't fuck with you no more. Nigga, like, no. You ain't heard my song, nigga, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I did. We got some nigga, no. <laughs> and, and you know what I'm saying? It ain't. It was on point like a motherfucker, though. But that's the thing, too. Like, I'm so genuine. Like, don't play it crazy. Yeah. You feel me? Like, you could get so much more. We could do so much more. But y'all, mm -hmm. you want to play it crazy. Yeah. Don't play it crazy with the CEO. For sure. I'm the boss. Yeah. The, I, and, and the loan shark, obviously. <laughs> he said the loan shark. You feel me? <laughs> so, like, you know, like, I don't I don't play like that because I'm such a great person, but this can all turn a whole nother way, you For know? Sure. Yeah. And I don't, ne I don't never like to get like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get like that. Yeah, hell yeah. You try to stay away from that shit. That's it. Man, if you had to get this movie, I mean, this movie, this <laughs> year, a movie title, what would it be? Uh... A damn near lottery. Yeah. I feel like I hit the lottery real shit. Mm -hmm. Like my everything been going good for me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. even when people kicked me when they thought I was down. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, and that was the best too. Like, even when y'all thought I was down and kicking me and, it, and not just the school. Y'all mm. y'all know. For sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, when y'all thought I was down and y'all was kicking me, yeah, I feel like I just hit the lottery. For sure. But people want to kick me when I'm down and I'm such a great person. I do such mm. great things and you don't do that to people like yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I love your energy, right? Just from the, <laughs> you know, we talking about bobs and shit. We ain't talking about motherfucking lose and shit. The, the real lose. Yeah, about. okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. First one. Make it, and don't think that I don't know by the thing that I just hit you up because I saw a video because I actually sent you a message in December. You ain't read it though. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I seen, I seen the what's name, the little freestyle. I'm like, oh shit, she going hard. Let me send her a message and shit. It was like December 13th, something like that. But you know I just seen some. I, I literally didn't know you mentioned me because I've been wanting to come over here too because mm. I've seen Tierra Tanae on here. Okay. And I, ever since I seen her on here, I've been wanting to come. Or or was it Detroit Diamond? It Detroit was Diamond. D Diamond. It was Detroit Diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, she been here a couple of times. I, heard, I know this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'm like, damn. Because, uh, oh, you go try and reach out because her, her shit went viral. No, I been did it. Yeah. Like, I saw your freestyle. I'm like, oh, yeah, she her. Listen, I don't care where y'all reach out. Yeah. Today, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah, but some niggas think, oh, you trying to use the situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, Man. I've been reached out. Listen, we are in like a media industry. Like mm -hmm. you don't do music, but you know we are in the media industry. Yeah. You're I, not I using used, me. I used to do music. We working to. You know, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It was good. It was. Good. It was I guess it wasn't good. I'm doing a podcast now. <laughs> you always gotta go secondary. Like that's like oh, that one chick. <laughs> that one chick. Well, we helped each other. Like, and I lived in Atlanta. Like I just moved back to Detroit uh, last August. Yeah. But like 
in Atlanta, they not going to be on there like, you trying to use me. They go have media expos mm-hmm. where everybody come out, where everybody get their podcast, mm-hmm. get their footage. For sure. Like, hey. this is, this is, we both need this. I no, need facts. you just as much as you need me. Facts, like, we facts, need facts, each other. So, facts. it's definitely not So, you not say like you're that. down in Atlanta, huh? Mm-hmm. So, that's how you, like, you and uh, Calico got cool because y'all be doing shit together. Oh, that's shit. family. Yeah. Yep, that's Calico, family. I'm still yeah. waiting, dog. Yeah. Still <laughs> waiting, bro. Yeah. You going to the battle? Uh, when when is it? It's in April. April 16th. Don't quote me. When is it? It's not okay. Like yeah, I'm gonna try that. You yeah. know what? You know what's funny? Uh, a, a young lady put me hip to battle rap. I wasn't fucking battle rap until, like back in the day with Sirius Jones and Mook mm-hmm. and shit. But like it was that that new rap, new battle rap. And first person was Calico. Mm-hmm. I'm like then who's this nigga? He from Detroit? Like yeah. oh this nigga, this this nigga. I think he was battling K. Sean or some shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, this nigga, this yeah. nigga hard. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, and it was so crazy. You know Taylor Bentley. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yep, where yep. the fuck you want to go by? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we went to Southfield. That's my cousin, too. We went okay. to Southfield, but like we was the only two females in Southfield, like really quoting battle rapping. Mm-hmm. You watched that battle last night? You mm-hmm. leave smack? Like, we was really on that. Like, we was the only girls in the classroom, like, really just talking to niggas about so, battle rap. Hell like, yeah, hell yeah. and really in, like, we, I've been involved in so much stuff since a young and like we had like the career day me and Taylor was working the front door invite people in we was rapping we was just mm. just being us just you know just doing what we do do you we think just doing like, what we doing. do you think when the big names got involved with battle rap it kind of fucked up a little bit like because you had these niggas that they kind of want to be a part of the culture just because it was popular at the time mm-hmm. you think they kind of like wore it down battle rap a little bit or no you- definitely not uh I feel like you can't water down that. Even like I said, like what they say, like you really can't copy respect. Like people do that for the respect and the art of music, rapping. Mm-hmm. Like I really love rap. That's why I watch battle rap. It don't got to just be no music. I love hearing people rap. Mm-hmm. Like that is what I, I will turn the battle on right now and quote the whole battle and not even look at it. Like yeah, sure. that's how much I love it. Like yeah. Tony Blanco, I quote all her shit all day. Yeah. Like that, I would ride to a battle rap, listen to a battle rap. Now I done drove out of town listening mm-hmm. to battle rap. Like I love rapping. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And Calico, I was a little jealous. Like, oh, you like this nigga? Dog, you, watch that, you watch eight battle with this nigga, dog. but he are, who, yeah. your, who your favorite three battle rappers? Uh, Calico, Charlie Clips, DNA, Tony Blanco, Forty Bars. Okay, I like what's name too. Niggas on uh, John John. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with John yeah. John. Like, fuck fuck low key, like John. I remember niggas. Yeah, Honestly, with Detroit. I don't like doing number shit. Like yeah, yeah. you say, give me your top five because really I got so many people. Like. Yeah. Everybody is different, so for so yeah. much shit. Yeah. Like, of course, Calico will be number one because that's Detroit, that's family. Like, sure. I don't even give a fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah. you already know what the fuck going on. Yeah, I fuck Calico, um, John John. But I don't like doing number shit because I'm just, I can't. <laughs> and I think that people act like Calico lost that looks. I think he low key won 2 1 to me. I feel as if, like, when people want to talk about when you're really studying a battle and talk about antics, mm-hmm. and okay, people could do whatever, but like, I don't think he won off no casket and no bitch wear. You no, feel me? Like, no. that type of shit. So, no. all that shit X'd out, nigga. Yeah. It took y'all 10 minutes to get that shit up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That don't count. It did, it did, it did. You feel it me, did. nigga? Right. Yeah. Right. I, I just get looks that, that second that second round. Right. I get Calico first and third. Yeah, and you know I... Know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 nigga, Calico kill this nigga real quick. Like, yeah, yeah, he ain't lose, I don't give a fuck. He ain't losing to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I used to watch that shit heavy. I got to get back into it. Yeah. I know, Uh, what's the young nigga name? Chess? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah he hard. Yeah, I fuck with Chess. But you, fuck, you don't fuck with the girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 40 bars, I fuck with I'm her. I'm about to say, like, Oh, what, what's old girl who never had sex? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about uh. Damn, uh, she hard though. Uh, Jazz the rapper. Yeah, Jazz the rapper. Jazz yeah, the rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody has got bars yeah. for her not having sex or something. Yeah, like that. I fuck with Jazz. Yeah, yeah I fuck. But see, what's that? Cause she do her own shit too. Her own lead, right? Um, old girl from the band Babs. Uh, Queen of the Ring. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. yep. I just watched all that shit. Yeah, dumb, yeah. What's the one girl? I think she from um. Damn, she from New Orleans. Official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I fuck with the girls. Yeah, I, I okay. might not know a name, but I fuck okay, with them. Okay, okay, we hear it. Damn, nigga, you name these niggas and shit. <laughs> yeah, <she's> like, okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Hell no. But no. yeah, I, 40, 40 is probably my favorite female. Yeah. Yeah, like I love her. Yeah, hell, hell yeah. What's what's your day to day life away from music, away from teaching? Like, what bring you fun outside of that? Um, working. Yeah. Um, I got two hands for a reason. One to help myself and other people. Like mm-hmm. I'm out here seeing what I can do. I'm not. I like. I don't be bored. 
<laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not bored. I got stuff to do. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, even with my nonprofit, we give away free clothes. And when people are going through things, I need to go help out. You know what I'm saying? They might need whatever. Because I don't just want to explain people's situation. But whatever they need, I'm outside. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting busy. I'm riding around and I'm getting it. What are y'all yeah. doing? That's the thing. Sure. What are other people doing? They not doing shit. Y'all ain't helping. Come get some free clothes out. Come get some bikes out. Come get some food out. You got some canned goods for me. I got some people that's hungry. Mm-hmm. You know, go to the homework house in, in Highland Park. She done bought the whole block. We teach the kids how to farm. We were doing so much thing. I did advanced archery class, fashion and design, then football camps, took them to the Detroit Lions things. What have y'all that's done? You got work, you moving. <laughs> shit, uh, yeah, that's I need to be like you and shit. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm need, never bored. I need you to come talk to my to girls in one day. Yeah, I, Taylor Mays Girl Club. I do Taylor Mays Girl Club every week, which I did start at the last school that I was working with. I had half the girls in the school in my mm. In my program, and I'm like, I don't care what y'all want to talk about. I don't care if you, you know, gay like girls, boys. I don't care. Whatever y'all want to talk about, y'all. That's for what sure. we about to talk about now. What's up? I used to like, now what's up? What y'all want to talk about? Man, for sure. Hell we yeah. can do whatever y'all want to do. So yeah, I do yeah. Taylor Mays Girls Club, which we're going to keep. I'm still keep that going just because I started at that school. Don't mean the school sure. stop as well. Yeah, but no, girls, we need. I need you to come out there. I, I can't pay you. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you about your business, like S O B. I used to do little, uh, little brown girls. You ever heard of them? Uh, uh. Give me okay, help. so when I was at the Y M C A, I had a contract with ten different Northwest schools, and I was working with the mayor. While everybody want to talk about me, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I was you a shit though. I ain't gonna Why lie. the mayor want to work hand in hand with me if I'm so un- um, professional? But anyway, the uh, little brown girls organization came in, but my girls that my students they used to cry if I didn't go with them mm-hmm. and be tweaking out like, Miss Brown, can you please come? But she was like, because them ladies was mean to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just slamming no desk and stuff. I have to go in there like, oh, yeah, for sure. Why are we slamming those stuff and there's kids in here? Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. Now I'm like, if y'all, y'all want me to take over the girls' club? Mm-hmm. So, like, it's just stuff like that. And I'm standing up for these kids as well. Like, yeah. these people are not, everybody's not treating these kids right. For sure. No, no, that's facts. That's, that's, that's a goddamn fact. And right I'm telling girls how to, when, and even my kids now, like, you sometimes you have to meet people where they at. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's not trying to be ki- uh, friends with a kid and stuff like that. I, When you a teacher, you do um, catch my kid's heart and tell you how to be a friend to a mm-hmm. kid, though. Yeah. So they can not trust you and feel for like sure. they have no. somebody to talk to and a, stuff a like that. A kid got to trust you to be able to, you know what I'm saying, open up to you for real. Right. And you got to earn their respect. If somebody crying at school, they used to be, they'd be like, Miss Brown, like, look, they, they want me to handle yeah. it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Kids that ain't even my school, they was like, somebody at the stairs down there, they crying, go get her. Ooh, mm-hmm. ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like, What's her name? Yeah. I'm like, okay. I'm not, sure. And all I'm doing, I'm sitting down next to her. I'm giving them a hug. How you doing? You ain't got to say nothing. You want to come and walk with me and just mm-hmm. sit down? Like, I'm not pressuring nobody to do anything. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Do you see yourself ever having kids or being that cool ass auntie? I just want to be that cool <laughs> ass auntie. For sure. Because I be wrong, wrong, getting it, baby. And I, I don't know who's going to watch my kids. Yeah. <laughs> she could be in the car seat or she could be in the car seat with like, you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who's going to watch my kids. And if I do get a baby father, he's just going to have to know. You know what I'm saying? For so sure. He's going to have to do a little more work around him. Man. Because, you know, mama got stuff to do. No, for sure. What was your first adult decision that you made? Like, damn, I'm, I'm, like, I'm out here, like. Life um, is real. Like this shit, real, real shit. A dark decision, or I'm gonna say like the first time we're in my mommy's so I said like I feel like I got my wings. Okay, is when I graduated from college. Like when I walked across that stage, I I don't know. It was just like I don't want to call it butterflies. I don't know. I felt like I literally just got my wings, and I was just like, damn, mm-hmm. I really can do anything. No, for that's sure. That's when I start uh, social privilege. I got a, a swimwear business too. Okay, um, oh, yeah, honey that's swimwear. the one thing I missed. One <laughs> thing. <Drip behind laughs> swimwear. I started. I started all this shit like back to back because mm-hmm. I was just literally when I walked across that stage, I was like, I can do anything. No, for sure. And that was just my anything for me. I'm the first person in my family to go to college. Mm-hmm. To go to college, I'm the first person in my family to graduate as well. You mm-hmm. know, so yeah, that's dope. it's just like. Like, I just felt like right then and there, I knew I could do anything. Now, you know you could do anything, but what's something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? Um, I got a big mouth, so mm. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's nothing I ain't never told about. I want to be a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> and I love words, so when I find out something new, I probably yeah. don't want to be that. Sure. Like, I'm <laughs> really like that. Yeah. I was watching other Avengers, and he was like, I'm a um a billionaire philanthropist. That's what I want to be. I was like, oh, that sounds good. I want to be a billionaire <laughs> philanthropist. Yeah. Uh, like the Iron Man. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want to be. And that's yeah. real life. I could be that. Yeah. And it might just happen for me. Yeah, because as a little nigga, I want to be a tap dancer. Like I, I used to do tap. Yeah, you know, Oh shit, I, I ain't gonna learn that though. But I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play a piano and shit. Like damn, yes. those are two things. But my mom have no yeah. money to you know give me no lessons. And my mommy said you got long fingers. You can play the piano. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah see, that's the, see, smack, bam, yeah. smack. You know? <laughs> that's that viral moment right there. <laughs> that we were talking about. <laughs> oh shit, duh. All right, now we we've been talking about crying and shit. But when the last time you cried, it didn't have anything to do with death. Your mom's like, when the last time you cried, like you like, why the fuck am I crying about this? 
Um, when I have to leave, just leave my students. Okay. okay. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. um, cause even before then, like you know, you would read the room. Mm -hmm. I knew it, it was coming to an end. Mm -hmm. So I spoke up to my students mm -hmm. and was like, regardless of the fact if I'm here or not, you know, I'm always be here for y'all. Sure. What I want you to do, and I typed up letters to every student that I had, mm -hmm. and like a farewell letter, but also telling them all the great qualities about their self, qualities about their self, or what I want them to keep working on and stuff like that. That was an emotional moment. And they told me I couldn't tell the kids I was leaving. But, like, some people just don't know love and real emotions. I can't just up and leave and yeah, walk out and of you're just like, where, where fuck Ms. Brown at? That's not right. That's not fair. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to think abandonment and stuff. I'm with them. First of all, even administration, I'm not with y'all. I be in a classroom with them. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's nothing you really can tell me. I be with them. They yeah. telling me how they feel all day and what they going through and stuff like that. So, it's just like... I'm, my relationship is with them. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I go to the trainers in the summertime to build relationships with them. Mm -hmm. This is with, with them, with them. Y'all having yeah. meetings talking about some, this kid going through that, woo, woo, what can we do? We watching movies about different type of different teachers and about the one that goes the extra mile for these kids. Mm -hmm. the, the movies y'all was watching was me. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Like, yeah, so sure. definitely that's why I was crying. I was crying for weeks. We all was. As soon as I, they, as soon as I said, they was like, you have to go. They crying. Boys was crying. Everybody, they, they didn't know what was going on. Yo, this was like a movie. And, we these, and these ain't no, and these ain't no kid, like no little kids you teach. These, no, yeah, these, some, some these older 10, kids, yeah, 11, 12 graders. Yeah, shoot, sure. you got me one. I want you to teach my daughter real yeah. quick. <laughs> Be my daughter teacher real quick. Literally, and I'm like, they like Miss Brown. You teach me to understand. Like y'all get it, y'all got it. No, for real. Like I be like, no, for real. Like don't play. Yeah. I know y'all like to play. Like, I know y'all too cool to be here. Yeah, but for sure. let me know you understand. Do you got it? We can stop. I'm. I will do it with y'all. Right on the board again. Underline. What's important? Like. Yeah. We going the extra mile. For sure. Hell yeah. And you need those type of teachers. Those yeah. type of people. Fuck shit. Just Even with the up. test. Five, six, seven. These are the ones you got wrong. Mm. I, I don't have to give you the answer. I have to tell you what you got wrong for you to work on. If this is a test and this is the final, why would not I try to help you to the best of my ability while you have the final test in your hand? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just certain things that you do differently working with different type of kids. Yeah, no, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn. <laughs> I don't even know what to go, go to. <laughs> All right. If I had to know about you, you know what I'm saying, Dripping Honey, you, but I, you're going to use an album or a song to describe you. What album or song would that be? Honey Economics. Okay, what's it? What's it? What's it gonna tell me about you? Um, everything that you need to know: the motion, the mm. monopoly, how we getting it, everything. What, mm. what does the econ What does economics? What does the economy do? It moves. I'm circulating everything: the income, the love, mm. the support, everything. It's circulation. Everything mm. that I'm putting out is coming right back to me. For sure. Was that album or song take you back to a time that you remember, like from your past? Like my mom was playing this and she was cooking pancakes. Like, what's that song or album that you? think about in the past like and take you right back to that that spot or that situation or that position like whenever I hear like goddamn Sade even though he hates yeah. Sade I jump. you hate Sade <laughs> I think ah! I think about, <laughs> damn I think, I think about my mom I think about damn, I, you ever heard that I, think, I think, think about the water off that I think about the smell of pancakes the Ooh. smell of pine so like <laughs> trash yeah, 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 no. I can't wait till somebody ask you something trash <laughs> Simple, ain't no words, ain't no explaining, nigga. It's trash. <laughs> like these other podcasts in the city, nigga. trash. trash. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So what's that album for you, like, and just take you back to your know, kid, your know, college, like, what? Is, what is it? Um, I'm an old head, so like, mm. and I'm a Motown baby. We know good music, so mm -hmm. I don't care. You put any of that old stuff on, yeah, baby. It's a party. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm at the backyard party. For sure. But I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but recently I just watched Respect, Aretha mm -hmm. Franklin, mm -hmm. and I told you my granny 94, and I'm watching it, I'm just like, let me call my grandma, ask her if she know her. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm calling like, granny, you met Aretha. She's like, girl, what? You know what I mean? <laughs> girl, we used to be at the club when they practicing, everybody sure. smoking, you all know? I'm like, my granny was lit. No, she talk, was with everybody. But talk about that. Yo, 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 we were talking about my auntie, she, she 99. Mm hmm but talk about your grandma being 94 and still being able to have that conversation with your grandma. And, and My birthday was just March 5th. Granny, hey, baby. Uh, yeah. Happy birthday. Like... Mm -hmm. So it was great, and I was just like so shocked. And I really been recording my grandma too, like every time we having good conversations because mm -hmm. this is great information. And my granny just told me she was like, "Most time been there for ninety years, and I never walked inside." Mm -hmm. But she was like, "It wasn't no need because I lived it. I seen Aretha at church. I seen them at the grocery store. I seen them this. I seen uh, 
all these people, David Ruffin, my uncle, my what's my granny oldest son, went to Northwestern with the temptation before. Like, these are real people. Diana Ross lived down the street. This mm -hmm. is real life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So she don't have to walk into that zip because she, yeah. she, she can tell you She's what's like, in there. Yeah. She's like, I lived Detroit 90 years. I ain't never walked up in there. Yeah, yeah. Ever. She's like, but it wasn't no need to. And just the stuff they did. So I'm just thinking through her eyes, too, like, of why these older people probably love the wreath and these people. They seen them in real day, life, mm -hmm. and time. That's why these people love me. I'm here in real day, life, and time. Half the stuff I did, I ain't even been recording. Y'all want me to record giving away free clothes every week? Woo -woo. I ain't got to do that. I'm really out here doing real stuff. Mm -hmm. Have y'all uh, cooked up with New Era Detroit while they trying to help people and stuff like that? Y'all ain't did nothing. My friend Taylor, she played basketball overseas. When she come here and do her basketball oh, yep, program, I, I know you talking about. In the she summertime, got I'm buying pieces yep, for the whole thing. Yep. What are y'all doing to help y'all hey, uh, community? Hey, Taylor, kids? Uh, her name Taylor, right? Yeah. Taylor, New Era Detroit. Uh, what's up, dog? Come on the show. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, okay yeah, y'all yeah. better like, but these are people that's doing real stuff no, in real, for real time. That's a fact. Even during a pandemic, New Era Detroit's when I first seen them, like, they was really outside doing stuff. When mm -hmm. ladies was at the gas station, like, and stuff like that. I really witnessed that, so why wouldn't I want to be a part of that and be better and, you know, do these type of things? Mm -hmm. and they probably don't even know my name, but I was there, because yeah. I don't need to be, hey, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, Look at me, yeah. Because a lot of people do do it for the clicks, for the yeah. likes, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to help out, but I'm going to take a video. I've been doing this since out. I was three years old, yeah. helping out. Cause, have you ever made real ice cream? My grandma used to make us real ice cream. You got to put the ice in there, do all that, and turn mm -hmm. that to your arm fall out. I had to do that for the whole Linwood yeah, for sure. all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and we taking turns. We're crying. My granny's like, we going to put Mr. Softy out of business. I used to be crying like, no. <laughs> no, because I don't want to turn no more. Let's get Mr. Softy. Or we can't upgrade the machine. Real for ice sure. cream. Y'all not telling me nothing. I've been doing this. Yeah, that's for sure. That's like, for what? Sure. And until you turn some ice cream, yeah. I don't want to hear nothing <laughs> for the whole hood at that. Hell yeah, not and just then for, walk not up on yourself. the cell and give it out to everybody. Hell yeah. Some Linwood kid. Uh, show on fire <laughs> all shoulder that you gotta way. run back to the house then we get glazed and we gotta do this man ain't nobody telling me nothing y'all don't be outside they don't be in the community i don't see y'all doing nothing where do y'all where, where do y'all be giving back to man that's funny man god damn shout out to you you a real <laughs> one shit, man turn the ice cream <laughs> changing lives you know rapping <laughs> Activist, you know, you know billionaire philanthropist, for sure. Hell yeah, all Coming that. Soon. Hell yeah, all that, all that. <laughs> now you you talked about like you know what I'm saying growing up with a lot of brothers and you know dad passing, but like talk about growing up a little bit. You know what I'm saying in the household. I know you from Seven Mile, just like that. But talk about you know what I'm saying young you. Um, young me. And working with kids too, young me was still me. Like you are mm. who you are from a young and on up. Like you know, of course, we everybody change stuff like that. But like, I've been funny. I've been happy with my family, and this is why I do anything because I got our brothers. It was like it wasn't no job just for Dominique or whatever. We would do whatever. Like mm. that's what being part of a team is, and that's sometimes what a family is. And not so, just, of course, yeah. Some the boys gonna take the trash out more, but sometimes I had to do it too. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's whatever. I didn't hoop, so my brother was coming to my basketball game deep as hell. Mm. Like. They like, who is it? Like, yeah. I'm literally the older girl. Like, yeah, the yeah. only one. Like, so I've been doing stuff. I've, they've been coming to support me at this, that. Dominique doing this. Dominique doing that. She doing this. She doing this. She doing this. She doing this. People know me for something. These niggas just don't know me. For sure. They're like, she either who, she did this. I see her. She's doing something. Mm -hmm. And nigga ain't just about to fall. And nigga ain't just falling <laughs> in my lap. For sure. For sure. For sure. So it's going to take some shit for a nigga like, to get on, like, you know what I'm saying, get with you. And yeah, I like, move around too much. You got, like, they got to be prepared for you. Yeah, I got too much <laughs> motion. I'm the big CEO pushing the motion. I put a nigga on. He ain't got no motion. <laughs> Dripping. Yeah, I got I to gotta learn that shit real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, dog. So, yo, so yo, yo, your child was pretty lit then, seem yeah, like. Yeah, like I had, and like I told you, our neighbors, our block was a family. Yeah, yeah like, everybody cool with each other. Everybody. My mama told me the day I came from the hospital, everybody was outside. Yeah, yeah. Like, people like, like, let me see that baby. Like, I grew up with these people, everybody. Damn near for what? Say, so it was home, you up like Simba. Damn near huh? 75. It was home, you up like Simba. Yeah, okay. Like, the hood. Like was. She got her ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> I hate you. I can see right now holding up like Samo. <laughs> this one for you. <laughs> no, and it was so oh, crazy is because my mama start throwing up seven mile and me and my brother used to be like, <laughs> she fun. not from the mile for real though. Like <laughs> you moved to the mile when you had kids. You know, yeah. my mama from the Bronx, my mama from six mile and Tracy. Okay. So I'm like, girl, why you ain't throwing up six miles? She was like, girl, my kids from seven mile from man, seven mile now. That's funny, man. But yeah, like the whole thing, but 
And I feel like even that, people are like, you know, you're a terror, you're portraying hood, stuff like that. Bro, this is where we from. I grew mm. here. I raised here. The kids that I work with go to this gas station, be at this family mm. dollar. Ooh, ooh. I'm happy to be from Seven Mile. You ain't happy to be from US. Yeah, nah, hell this yeah. is called national identity. I'm glad to Man. be a Motown baby. I'm glad to be from Detroit. Yeah. I'm glad to be from the Motor City. I'm glad for this. You mad at me? That's why I teach my kids. Why, why don't you know these streets? That's why I said, oh, you from... Yeah. I know these streets. I know these places. You have to know that. Yeah, I love like, my hood, man. Shout out to East Warren. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, right and there's nothing wrong with that. That don't mean, oh, we try to go be some killers. We saying, we, mm -hmm. I'm glad. I just told you these people on this block was like family to me. Mm -hmm. These wasn't no strangers and stuff like that. I love the 4219. I love Bob's, nigga. I love <laughs> Fat Boys. What are you talking sure. about? I go to Bank Road Studio, nigga. I'm on a mile. Like, yeah. everything I do, I go to Chase, no seven mile. I be on seven mile. Yeah, like, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm giving away on seven mile, too. I'm helping the kids on seven mile. I'm tutoring the kids on Seven Mile. Somebody have a house fire. Like, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We in a community, and I'm helping a community I grew up. Why wouldn't I want to see the community I grew up and love me so much and give back to it and want to see it good? I'm proud of that. I don't For care. Sure. I, got my, I got Seven Mile tatted on me. Oh, yeah. yeah, this, yeah. It, this is me. I, if I wasn't born there, I probably wouldn't be who I am. I probably wouldn't walk like this, talk like this. So I'm, I'm appreciative of where I came from, and there's nothing wrong with that. No. That's why I said social privilege in the neighborhood, because I believe in the neighborhood. For sure. It's kids in these neighborhoods, so why wouldn't I believe in it? Mm -hmm. No, fast. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you, you a truth and shit, dog. <laughs> it's a true podcast, like for real, for real. At what point, though, because we gotta touch on that, because mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying I, I got hip to you through the music. Mm -hmm. At what point did you say high school? But what point did music become serious? Like I'm really gonna do this because of after course my you can play passed. around. Okay, okay. Like, just, after my fire mom on you. passed. That was 2020, November 2020, so 2021. I took off the whole 2021. I was mm. very emotionally hurt and then confused. I didn't know what I liked. I felt as if I didn't know what I liked or what I love. I was, I just lost my mom. Mm. So, and then right after I lost my mom, I lost my cousin. Mm. So, that was like May. I lost my mom in November. And then, May. and then a couple months after, before my mama, I lost my auntie. Mm. So, it was just a lot going on for me. I went to Jamaica in July, mm. and I felt like... I was just relaxed when I went to Jamaica, right? Mm. So I went to Jamaica and then I came back <clears throat> to Atlanta. Went to Atlanta and then B who owned Carson Currency, if okay. you know him. So shout out to Carson Currency. Uh, it was really B because mm. see, I went up to the studio to do something else, mm. get something else. You know, I was purchasing something mm -hmm. and I was like, um, they like they need a girl on this song and you know, man, just came from Jamaica. Listen, I'm just trying to chill. I just <laughs> had a long <laughs> flight. Yeah. Like, just give me what I need. So he like, oh, they need a girl on this song. I'm like, I'm about to go in here. And I wasn't about to rap. I'm about to go in here and just juke that nigga, you know? Yeah, for sure. But then they were just, they were guarding the door. I'm like, okay, what y'all need me to say? I probably said like four or five words on that boy's song. But I just felt so good. Mm -hmm. And I was nervous at first because it's been so long and I just been through so much. I just, I, I you know, when you sad, you just make yourself even more sad. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do nothing. Mm -hmm. But the fact that I did do it, it made me happy. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So once it made me happy and I kept doing like, and the boy, uh, he was whole school, he was holding my hand in the studio. Mm -hmm. Like, Cause I was just wasn't. I'm like, bro, I'm going through a lot. You know how you did? You be mad, mad. Yeah, for sure. Like, Hell yeah. Um, he held my hand. And I'm like, Dominique, stop being a b word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I just got in that mode, and when I heard myself, I'm like, mm. it's on the flow. Yeah. Then I was in people videos, but. It was something about the camera had to keep getting back on them. For sure. I'm like, I, Hold on, I want this attention. Shit. I'm like, I want the camera on me. I was like, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just about to rap. And yeah. then my sister too, Willie was like, I had did what's his name, D O D B H, a promo video for his little car YouTube channel. Mm. And my sister seen me. She was like, we gotta do something with you. Like, yeah, you're six feet tall. You be walking around here with these eyes. Like, she was like, we no, you, we need to do something. Yeah. So. I'm like, you know me. I'm like, let's do it. For sure, for sure. Hell so yeah. shout out to Chew Chewy. And then I told Chewy, like, I'm ready to get in the studio. You thought I was playing? I'm like, no, now I'm, I'm really for real. Mm -hmm. I was in there every day. Yeah. And I appreciate yeah. him because it wasn't in there that bitch every day. Like, yeah. nigga, every day. And I appreciate him because he gave me the creative ability knowing that, like, I'm coming back to something. Mm -hmm. To, like, okay, here, I'm going to give you this much time. You know, get your song together. Be, be creative. Mm. And even just coming from an educator, I'm a writer. So mm. it's just like, I write everything down. Yeah. So he like, girl, you writing these raps like you writing a paragraph. This ain't no essay. Yeah. You know, so like he really just, he helped yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, Broke sure. shit down for me. And then having that influence, and then I left, went to Atlanta, then I was working up under um, Ugly Money Nietzsche. Mm. So just being in the studio, he like, he won take. Like, he don't be playing that, you know? Mm. So I just feel like that, um... Just that discipline too. Mm. It just made me more real around it. Yeah, so sure. by the time August, I came back and I was telling them, I'm like, I'm gonna fuck them up. Yeah. Cause I didn't have these great people working with me and taking their time mm -hmm. with me. Like even one eight hundred. Cause one eight hundred is like family too. Okay. Uh, my cousin that passed away, that's his best friend. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, 
Because people been knowing me like, girl, what you about to talk about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because it's just been so long, and I'm just like, I'm really about to do it. He like, get your ass in there. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. So hell it was yeah. just like people being supportive. You know how you tell somebody something? They're like, you about to do that? Yeah. Like, no. Everybody hey, was like, yes, go do that. Go ahead. Yeah. Come on. Let's do that. You want me to go with you? Like, my brother with me everywhere I go. For sure. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. I know we used, me and brother was talking about ice cream, fucking our stomachs <laughs> up and shit, for Okay. <laughs> but how have you became a better artist from the project you dropped in 2022? To the project you just dropped at the top of the uh, 2024? My first project, it took me 10 months to put that together. Okay. This next one, it took me like a couple months. Mm -hmm. Probably like two to three. Because mm -hmm. I got a full-time job. Yeah. And I do other things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it... It took me, I think I went through it faster because, like, I knew what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. But even and if you listen to the first one from the second one, it's a big difference because I pay attention. I don't pay attention to social media. Woo -woo. You know, people will talk about, only girls talk about this. Only girls talk about that. I'm about to show you what the fuck a girl talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck are y'all to tell us what we talk about? Niggas been talking about, talk about us, our bodies for the last 50, 60 years since hip hop started. Now y'all mad we talking about yeah, it? For sure. It's mine. Yeah. And, it's, and it's not even on no sexual shit. Like, this is my life. This this me. This mm -hmm. is not no fabric credit stuff. I'm from where I'm from. We all are part of the environment. This is mm -hmm. not no rap cat. Yeah. Like, this is real life. You when know? People, when people say it, do you be ever think, like, damn, maybe I. Show them how I could rap like this or this. Do that make you change your old approach because you hear niggas talking like that? Um, because everybody been talking about, oh, uh, you know, Joe Button was just talking about this shit like pussy rap, this, that, and the third. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Do you ever feel like, all right, let me go ahead, I give him that, but I give him this? Like, yeah. or you just like, fuck, I'm gonna do honestly. I feel like it's what? the beat for me. A nigga don't tell me to do shit, like, the a motherfucker don't change yeah. my mind and oh, I need to start doing this because everybody's there. Yeah. I'm not with that. I'm doing me when I hear the beat, whatever I hear and how I feel, nigga, that's the artistry. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Yo, I just gotta do it like this because yeah. the right social some, media said, right like, y'all don't even something. know what y'all like for real. Y'all wait for something just to get popping and no, then jump no, on the bandwagon. No, you ain't never you don't even know yourself. <laughs> Yeah. You don't know what you like. You like what everybody else like. No, for sure. Like, well, like Hell come yeah. on now. Hell yeah. So, no, I ain't changing shit for nobody. I don't care what nobody thinks. Because mm. I'm doing me. And I ain't hurt nobody by doing me. Like, mm. and literally, it's just the beat for me. Once I hear the beat, then the words start coming. What mm. I'm thinking start coming. Yeah, yeah. I don't just be like, oh, let me, you know, this beat. Yeah, let me just talk about some pussy right now. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be a good one. Come on now. <laughs> nigga. And I'll put a nigga on. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's talk about all that. Let's talk about all these motherfuckers that owe me. You know what I'm saying? Well, get down to that. Come on, come out with a diss track. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, that's just the right now. Shit. <laughs> okay. It is coming, baby. Man, can they hit song? Hurt you in the long run because people will continue to want that hit song. Cause like you ain't had so many people, you know, what I'm saying with hit songs and be mm -hmm. like, and they trying to chase that hit. Yeah. Can a hit song hurt you in the long run? Um, no, but good publicity, bad publicity. People complain about what they want and what you should do. It's still publicity at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? And y'all have to know your opinion doesn't matter. Yeah, no. For you know sure. that? Yeah. You gotta start there. Like, okay, you yeah. can say that, but as long as you talking, that's good for whatever artist it is. It don't matter mm -hmm. who's saying they the horrible person in the world. You want them to stop rapping. Mm -hmm. It's still good for them at the end of the day. So that's a, honestly, if you got a bad opinion, you might as well keep it to yourself. For sure. Because either way it go is is publicity for the artist. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you don't like it, shut the hell up. Cause yeah. you, you still just add into my value. Yeah, right no, no, it's fact. By yapping your lips. That's a fact. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Honey economics, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like it got the love it deserved or it's still it's still circulating? I just dropped it January 17th. So it's still early, yeah, still fresh. Yeah, so it's still early, but it's been doing really, really well. Mm -hmm. Like, especially since Dripping 101. Like, mm -hmm. and Dripping 101 is track one on Honey Economics. And mm -hmm. I know people say that, like, I put it number one for a reason because... Mm -hmm. Honey Economics, that's already like we in class, you know? Mm -hmm. Y'all in Honey Economics, that's what it was for. Dripping 101, that's track one. Class has started. Mm -hmm. So that's why then you about to go to the one. Yeah, class has started. Y'all sure. about to learn something now. Yeah, yeah. It's the big CEO push shit in motion. I'll put a nigga on if he got no motion. Literally. <laughs> hey, hey, he want to see me every day, nigga, no. Nigga, no. He going to be putting like, it on his face. What, he what, a what, what, what? <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> you feel me, though? Like, that's it. Like... You want to see me? What? What? I ain't gonna say what. What's gonna change or what's gonna slow you down? But like, when you say a nigga want to see me every day, nigga, no. What? What would change for you? It'd be like, you know what? Like, I want to be in a relationship. I want to, you know, what I'm saying, be tied down. Like, what? What would have to? What would that do? Have to, you know, what I'm saying, come to the table with to make you? I ain't gonna say change you, but make you more lovable. Um, <laughs> you say nigga, no. <laughs> I am a lovable person, but yeah. it's just like, you know, what you want to see me every day for? Yeah. What, what are we doing? Yeah, I don't what? want to see with you every day. Y'all got to get money together. Have you ever started, like, just chilling with a motherfucker, and then that's all y'all start doing? Dog. I don't want to get stuck we, in a, like, 
That's the, that, gonna see me today, but yeah. I got this to do. That's never a downfall relationship. After this. That's a downfall relationship. When you start off like just hugged up every fucking day, and then when you finally try to go somewhere, where the fuck you going? We've been hugged up for three months. Like, yeah. Man, yeah, you got. Yeah. You got and it's this. like this, I want to be hugged up with you, baby, but yeah. I got stuff to do, and I just feel like at this moment in time, a nigga is a hindrance for me. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying, you hindering me. So I don't want to be laid up, nigga. No, I can't send you a picture, nigga. No, I can't do mm. shit, nigga. No. Oh, but that's and nowadays you don't even have to ask for pictures. Go on social media, like. <laughs> this is why girls are irritated with the send me the picture. Oh, yeah. You follow me on social media. I promise you, baby. See, but every picture you, I take is probably on there. I don't be taking and, outside pictures, nigga. But when this nigga say OS. when nigga say let me get a picture, he really wants to see some ass or some titties. You feel me? I like, got, he, 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 just get and that's real. the point of I ain't got nothing for you, bro. Yeah, for sure. That's what that's they, just, you know what I'm saying. You better hit your ass on that Instagram yeah. and see all you want all day long, baby. Yeah. It's unlimited. Go. Have fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cause on dripping one on one, you said this nigga text me, but I ain't never got time. Niggas texting me when I ain't never got the time yeah. ever. Like I really don't like. Cause what? What? Yeah. What? Uh, oh, oh, but <laughs> what? Like you know? Cause what are you doing? What are we doing? Come, come with me to get back. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Like a nigga want to chill with you and do that, but like I'm having these events, mm. giving back to the kids. These niggas not showing up. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna fuck with you for? This is something I believe in and I love. A nigga is not. You know what I'm saying? That's when you know somebody really like you and love you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? When you coming out to support me, I would like you better than that. Then you can see me. Yeah. Then maybe you can see me every day if you care about the, what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, and I'm not saying like just care about me. I'm gonna care about what you doing too. But y'all ain't doing shit. Yeah. I'm, I've just told you I'm the big CEO. I'm putting shit in motion yeah. for these niggas. Yeah. So if I'm giving you the motion, these niggas is working for me. Yeah. So no, I'm, I don't want to chill up and do all that. Woo -woo. Like come on, let's just work. Yeah, you a sure. worker to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, no, you said you said uh, niggas run their mouth like some fucking bitches. Talk about them type of niggas, dog. Well, I mean, do we get over the Instagram? <laughs> what we gotta talk about? No, for sure. Over the Instagram, y'all some chatty patties, but that's something like we chatting yeah. because we do shit though. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? We into shit. I'm not just up here chatting and I'm a low life for and sure. I sit on my couch all day mm. and I'm just smoking weed, whatever, and I'm not educated and I ain't never took a test probably since '99. Like the rest of y'all, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even brushed up on your new knowledge and see what you know now. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the new laws passed. You don't even know who running for the president. Y'all don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't even know what the question was because I'm going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no Chico You said If you lucky You can hit it As a blessing And a curse You know what I'm saying Because I might talk about fuck the, with you After I might not What's, so. the, what's the curse they ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna hear From I you mean, again You can tell you Raised by your brothers <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> Listen, if it, if it was only one time, I did like it for real yeah. for you. Yeah, hell no, no. Is it? So that might be the curse. And I mean, I listen. I'm dripping for a reason. Mm -hmm. So you, they be loving it. Yeah. Just dripping real shit. Now your first. So, oh my bad. On your first you project, hey, I was gonna talk about that dripping honey. But I kind of like knew the name of it. Shit, like mm -hmm. like I was gonna say where you get the name from, but I can yeah. use my imagination. Um, well, actually, I got it from my mama. Okay, okay, well, I'm sorry. Because my mama was like, mama, and everybody know my mama was big on Instagram. She used to call everybody, like, if she knew you, she'd be like, hey, uh, Shay versus everybody podcast. <laughs> like, she would call everybody by their Instagram name. And <laughs> one day she was like, how can I be on Instagram? Nobody knows it was me. Yeah. I said, girl, you want a fake page? Yeah. She was like, yeah. I'm like, what she wants the name to be? She said, Drippin' Honey 924, because that's her birthday. Okay. I'm like, hold on. Drippin' Honey sounds good. Yeah, yeah. So I made her the fake page, and then I started my swimwear line, Drippin' Honey Swimwear. Okay. And then when I became an artist, I was just honey. I'm like, nah, I'm really dripping for real, because that's what they be saying. Mm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I put dripping in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That dripping for real, like you know, you just use your imagination, like well, yeah. I know you use your imagination. <laughs> now, uh, last one, honey, like that's your first project. That's track one. Uh, you well, said, it was raw honey. Oh, track, uh, track honey, one. life was track one. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The, the track. Yeah. So you said, who would have thought my life would be as lit? And the guy out the mud, nobody gave me shit. My life beautiful, baby. Somebody. My life beautiful. Yeah. My life beautiful. I don't care. It be fucked up at times, mm -hmm. but it's beautiful. Like I'm happy to live the life that I live, no matter mm -hmm. what I go through. Like my life is beautiful. I have beautiful friends, beautiful family, mm -hmm. and people that love me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's beautiful. Like, and I don't really get too stuck on the bad stuff that's happening. Mm -hmm. It's honey life. You know what I'm saying? When people enter my life, you're gonna have a better life. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's all about. And that's track one. Cause I just wanted people when they get to this um, that mixtape, just like 
come to honey life like mm-hmm. and see what i'm about like yeah, yeah. and nobody gave me shit i'm not, i just said i'm the first person in my family yeah, my my parents my mom didn't know how to fill out no fast but everything i learned i did it on myself mm-hmm. i didn't know what a fraternity was i didn't know then i didn't know none of this stuff until i did it like mm-hmm. ain't nobody teach me and anything, she had put a resume together for your ass you know what i'm saying if you were feeling <laughs> i would do your resumes for free and i could also connect you with the woman that i work with hand in hand because i really work with people in the community that can help you get certain stuff off your um record expunged so mm-hmm. i do a lot of stuff like that and i did that my first event when I graduated college was with Key Toy. Do you know her? She did uh, a Key Toy event. No, no, I gotta um, get help. Oh yeah, I do because you need to like come to one of her events too. For sure. It'd be a big vendor. The last one was at the Garden Theater, and you can actually probably come and do some podcasting. We go do it, get into that. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell but yeah. my first one because I was like. I had started Social Privilege in the Neighborhood. Mm. So I did my first event. She hit me up on Twitter because I'm tweeting like, if you if you a felon, I'm going to do your resumes for free. I'm mm. just I'm just trying to get my mm. nonprofit off the ground. She invited me to the event that was in Dearborn. I had markers, uh, just a poster board because I didn't know how to be a business mm. person. Like, I didn't know nobody. I didn't know nobody that did shit. Yeah, so yeah, everything so you're I, doing, you, you learn. I don't yeah. have a poster board on my laptop. I'm like, what you say you do? You go up? I'm, I'm typing. I'm like, what? what? I'm, I'm just trying to look so professional. So I'm look like more. You know, but that just helped me so Every event I got better and better and better. Now I got the the posters, the signs, the here, the business fire, whoop whoop. Like I didn't really just hit the ground running. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't let nothing stop. That's honey life for real. For sure. Anything I did when I want to start my swimsuit line, what would I do? As soon as my package came in, I was outside with everybody. What's up, baby? I know you got a mama, auntie, auntie, sister, baby. <laughs> sure. You don't love her. You don't love her. Bye, swimsuit. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm it. I don't play that. I don't care. I'm I, like, I hit the ball running. I don't yeah. wait for nothing. I don't mm. wait for anything. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You get a lot of support because, like I said, he even shared your junk. I'm like, I'll have her on show Sunday. Like, for real? Oh, like, yeah. thank you. Like, she coming through. She's she coming through, though. You know what I'm saying? No, that's dope, though. I like, I like your story. I like how you, you know, what you about, what you stand for, everything, dog. Yeah, I like you, know you too. I like both of y'all. It's been living here since I got in here. Y'all are so cool. You know. It's such a vibe, like. I just love this. Like we just, I feel like we mesh so well together. Which I think. Hell yeah, hell okay. yeah, it's just dope. Hell yeah, I for real, this was like so cool. Hell yeah, because then when you get somebody, because some, I, I, this is 192 episodes. Out of 192 episodes, you get your bad ones every once mm-hmm. in a while. I'm, I'm pretty good at people I select. Yeah. You know what I don't just be like, oh, let me get on the show. Come on. Yeah. Like, I just, <laughs> Like no, they, they got one song. And you say what I need to work on. That's my problem. I'm like, bro, like come on. Oh no, not me. No, that, like, they got one. They got one song in three years. Like call yourself a rapper. Like bro, come on now. Right. <laughs> they no got one that. song and shit. A lot of these niggas be claiming to be in the music, but don't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Like you know, what I'm saying you gotta put some emotion. Like you said, put, yeah. put some emotion. I'm the big CEO. If you need some motion, baby. Come holler at me. I'm big CEO. Hey, put shit emotion. I put a nigga on. Hey, you, hey, no you rap niggas, dog. Come. Come see her and shit, man. She they know what's going shit. on. I still put a nigga on. But don't 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 order no money though, cause she make a diss <laughs> on your ass real quick. Yeah, he know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hell and, does. And honestly, he know who he is. And also too, if it's Instagram, it's twenty twenty four. If you got your Instagram name with anything about some money racks, money, I get this bootstrap. You need to take it out if you owe me. Like I just feel like that's just to be out of respect. You <laughs> no, know you what I'm saying? Cause you asked me for something, which was some motion, which I gave you. So how you gonna have an Instagram <laughs> name about some money and you owe a nigga? Man, how does that work? Feel sorry I'm for tired your money, of niggas. that. 2024, if you owe somebody some money, I don't care who it is, even if it's not me, mm-hmm. pay them people that money or change your Instagram name. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You don't, you don't belong Definitely don't to put no money in your shit. <laughs> I guess we can kind of like, <laughs> kind of like, uh, you know, go search and shit. Niggas gonna be searching. Who is this money, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> I know I am. Because <laughs> when I drop the video, I'm gonna add his at name. That's funny, And man. then y'all tell him to run me my money. The big CEO said it. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of, you know, saying rappers and shit, I asked you, you know, prior to the show, if you wanted to spit some. And you say, yeah, a lot of needs to be scared and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But you was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> so, we gonna get to it. Aight. Shots out Tuesday. You already know, man, we got somebody rapping. You niggas be scared, man. Mm-hmm. Damn, these niggas You be niggas scared. in trouble. <laughs> we got dripping honey on the motherfucking mic. Dripping. Feel me? Dripping. Smoking woods, count blues. That's a move. Nigga told me it was poking like I never knew it. See that motherfucker moving, I ain't even moving. If we talking about money, I can speak fluent. Tell them that I can't stop, I need brake fluid. They say they applying pressure, I was getting through it. What the fuck? Drip honey. Hey. You know the pussy hit different when it's from the hood. Bad bitch, drip honey, down the nigga wood. Every day I'm looking good and I'm getting to it. You ain't on the same level, baby, we can't get into it. Certified dick pleaser, all right and good. Know you wanna swing, get it, even Tiger Wood. Hey. Now who can fuck with me? Grip tight, make you wanna bust in it. Drip, got a rock that don't get cut, nigga. Only with the realest, never with the fuck, nigga. Gotta have butt so you can't be up in it. I don't get fucked, but you can get fucked, nigga. 
Hey, what you know about a bad bitch? Savage, so little father established. I done seen shit you bitches can't imagine. Ass so fat, make you crash in traffic. No gag. He say that's romantic. Tell me when you coming, baby, I won't even panic. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Diddy ain't being a lot of love out here and shit, man. He been fucking around. About to become Brother our, love. About to become R. Kelly out here and shit, man. But um, yeah, if you had a <laughs> if you had one album, I'm gonna do two. Mm -hmm. Two albums in Detroit, making a band, you and four other people, and then your industry album, okay. you and four other people. Who would it be? Like this gonna be on making a band with me? No, on your album. Yep, your the band album. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so you got the industry album and then you got the Detroit album. I'm gonna get So start with the Detroit album You and four other people Taylor Bentley Whatever the fuck She wanna go by mm -hmm. Okay Um Who else Um I want Baby Money Okay I like how he be flowing On his shit So so you Baby Money Taylor Bentley You need two yeah. more Um And I can say It could be producers Singers Rappers Oh producers whoever. I want 1-800 then To make the beat Okay 1-800 to make the beat For sure Um I'm trying to see who else. Yeah, you got one, one more. Okay, okay. A uh, skill baby. Skill baby. He's so fine. For sure. I don't know about that, but he, yeah, been, he, <laughs> he been doing some shit though. He been yeah, out here. He's right? so fine. Yeah, he's he, so, you so, know. <laughs> skill baby, come on, show come. <laughs> and get on the track with her and shit though. You now, uh, your industry one. Um, you industry. And four other people: singers, rappers, producers, whatever. Big however. boogie for sure. Okay. <laughs> um, who else? Huh? I know, right? Uh, damn, why am I acting like so brain dead? Because I really be listening to myself a lot. But yeah. Oh, Boosie, for sure. I, yeah, I know like, that's your second favorite rapper. Yeah, shit. like, yeah. I got to work with Boosie. Um, yeah. You know, dope boys call my phone, y'all would work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why am I acting crazy? Who the hell do I be listening to? Oh, Boosie, Webby, and Plies. Oh shit! You 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 coming from me for the streets and shit? Boy. And that plus, like, that's who I listen to. Like, no, that first plus album, man. Dog. man well, I listen, bro. Plus, I love you. Like man. I listen to his shit. That second album was hard too. I don't want that. Hard. I, I want a, that bitch. That I listen hard. to a lot of old shit. Like I literally listen to Savage Life one, two, Boosie. No, and nigga, sleep on, on on Webby, dog. Sleep no, like literally. No. It's literally. Man. I don't even know. Like it's like I just want Boosie and Webby right next to each other. on Number one. Yeah, like, they got they got right come, they got come with they got they got come with album again. Nigga, dog. Savage Life one and two, like y'all yeah. don't know. Middle Webby school, be saying bro. some shit, dog. Like what? for Webby going crazy, dog. That boy be talking crazy. You know another nigga that went he used to go crazy. Um, oh. damn, Young Dro. Young Dro, hell yeah. Yo, yo, low key, mm -hmm. Young Dro was spitting, dog. Yeah, <laughs> he was spitting like a motherfucker, Joe dog. Hard. But like those early two thousand days, rap was kind of weird. Like you had, you know what I'm saying? Like you had some 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 good music, but it was kind of like in the weird place. Cause like I said on the previous show, it was coming from the '90s. It was like mm -hmm. a whole new sound and shit. Yeah. You had the snap music, white tea, my white tea mm -hmm. and shit. shit. I had white tea every day just cause that song. Okay. Nigga, gas station teas that bitch <laughs> with the good neck. Gas station had that good neck tea. Okay, that was a time though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through? Like, what's some things that you believed as a young 18 year old that you like? I was tripping. Shit. The love you think is real, and mm -hmm. it can it can be even from family, like you know what I'm saying. Cause me and my sister were just talking about like she was like, "Damn, you don't really hang out with nobody you used to," and it's just like things yeah, change, yeah, things are sure. different, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And like I said, these people did something to me, mm -hmm. and it's just like I can't fuck. No, it's not that I don't love them. I can't fuck with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they they like cancerous. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They come around and like to kill shit everywhere thing around you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the vibes is everything. The mode. Sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, just all that. So mm -hmm. it's just like that's just why I tell my younger self like, love is not enough. People mm -hmm. need to respect you. They have to honor you with so much stuff. You know what I'm saying? And just because somebody love you don't mean they go treat you right. No, that's a fact. That's a and that's fact. not just on a relationship. It's a fucked up fact, but that's yeah, a fact. that's not on relationship shit. Cause that nigga ain't did shit to me. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like real life people you love, like your cousin, your brother. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers that you thought like, damn, we was like these, and mm -hmm. you fucked me over, and it really be the more so the disappointment and the betrayal mm -hmm. that hurts more. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. When it's all said done. What's your definition of success? What's success for you? Like when you look back, like damn, I did that shit. Like what's success for you? I think success is like we all have our own imagination, mm -hmm. imagination, and my imagination is that like I want 
peace. Not mm -hmm. saying I don't have peace, but like I'm gonna have a nice car, a nice house, my own driveway for my niece and nephew to come over and spend a night. My brothers will come over, we chilling. We can go out so we can do this. Like I'm gonna have fun with my family. Like mm -hmm. that's just what I picture all the time and doing that but not being stressed like oh i gotta pay this bill i gotta do this i gotta do this i gotta do this like i want to have a stress-free life mm -hmm. and that's not I'm not saying i don't want to be a billionaire and shit like that i want to be comfortable you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so that's the life for me where i feel like you made it where you're comfortable to spend time with your family y'all go out y'all do this even when, like my niece and nephew talking about like i want to come over that makes me feel good like i want to spend a night i want to come over your house mm -hmm. like i want to have that house where my family wants to come over and chill and we yeah. have fun that's dope, and just right? be that nice place so that's what i want and i want a nice house with a nice driveway so I can pull up. <laughs> hell yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, at the end, we do something called uh, What's Worse. Mm -hmm. I'll give you two things. You tell me what's worse. What's worse, running from a fight or getting knocked out? Getting knocked out. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> it's, I ain't running from shit. <laughs> what's worse, a rapper with fake designer clothes or fake jewelry? Clothes. Uh, Cause you don't, you don't, you don't need to learn the clothes to look fresh. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go get them a little piece. That's like, you know, three, four hundred. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't know if that's fake now. Nah, I don't know. Right. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> sure. like what the what the fuck is fake? People go to Claire's. You know what I'm saying? So what? I'm a fake bitch because I got some Claire's on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so what is it? Like, like what is fake? I mean, I know what fake is, but I'm just saying like, mm -hmm. I'm not wearing no big ass fake ass Cuban though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for like sure. That. Remember like, niggas wear them big old earrings and blockers? Yeah. Nigga, like that. what? Like I probably. <laughs> I probably really did get these from Claire's and baby, these are probably my favorite ones. They, they just, you know what I'm saying? We done been through the wire together. Y'all probably seen these in a couple videos. Hell yeah. What's worse, finding out your parents aren't your real parents or finding out your siblings are adopted? Mm. I mean, if you're living a good life, neither of them matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it's a good life, I don't need to go find my other parents. I'm living yeah. good here. Yeah. Go look for them niggas, folks. <laughs> <laughs> like, if my siblings, if they cool, fuck if you adopted, who gives a shit? I got cousins that's adopted. Hell yeah. What's worse, losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? I'm the big CEO push shit emotion. I put a nigga on. I lost. What's that? <laughs> I don't you know. I don't know. My, my bad. <laughs> I'm confused on that question. <laughs> What's worse? Not, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got a kid. What's worse, not having money on Christmas or not having money for their birthday? What you think is worse? Uh, Birthday. Birthday. Cause hey, I'm the only I, nigga that's think Christmas. Cause I feel like you don't start Christmas shopping doing Christmas, so you ain't shit if you yeah. waited to Christmas <laughs> to start shopping. Then you could have grabbed a few something shit, a little shit in August, a little something in September, a little one two in October, a little so Black Friday. You ain't get shit. Yeah, yeah. You horrible. Yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah, Black sure. Friday, you couldn't get nothing. Yeah, like I yeah. got a couple shirts on Black Friday. <laughs> Hell and no. then they kids come on now y'all know it like bro it don't yeah. take much to pacify kids for sure for sure what's worse no car nice crib or nice car no crib nice car no crib yeah yeah like, and that bitch ride good you know what i'm saying because nigga i don't go i go buy a fifteen hundred dollar shooter if i need one you yeah. know what i'm saying i'm riding big baby though i don't need but if i did <laughs> i you know what i'm saying fifteen hundred shooter what well, i go right up there like cash car like that ain't nothing <laughs> Well, I ain't about to be driving Legacies and to be sleeping in it. Man, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. What's, what's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? You are so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, from appearance, probably the long legs and short arms are probably doing sure. funny hell as yeah. hell. Hell yeah. And hell like yeah. when you tying your shoes and shit. <laughs> And I'm a shallow person, so probably some, nigga, uh, tall legs and short arms. Cause I don't want to yeah. look like you be a short nigga with T Rex. Like, yeah, go get that cup, nigga. Like, damn. <laughs> no, for real. And I think it's a funny sometimes I'll be in the store. People be like, "Can you get this for me? Cause yeah. I'm so tall." <laughs> What's worse, messing up on stage or messing up in the booth? Stage. Yeah. yeah, yeah I don't yeah. give a fuck about messing up in the I booth. I had a nigga forget his song and just start reading it, like performing with his phone. Yeah, yeah, that's just wild. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> that's just wild. No, but I'm like, bro, why would you do a song that you just recorded last week, nigga? Right. If you ain't comfortable, I'm yeah, like, that shit crazy. Though. Yeah, cause I, he ain't, he ain't had the words behind. He just had the beat, so he was just it was ugly. Uh, it was yeah, ugly. yeah. It was yeah. Ugly. I don't want to fuck up on stage. Yeah. I don't really fuck up though. Like, um, I should be flawless. For sure, hell yeah. Then it's hell called yeah. practice too, though. So that's another thing too. Like people are like, ooh, I practice my shit. Like, mm. and my cousins are my dancers. Like they'll book the studio. We going to go practice. I'm not gonna set myself up to look like a fool. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not gonna look like a fool, but I'm still gonna try to get better at. <laughs> sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm working out. That's why you catch me at LA Fitness. I need to get my breathing together. For sure. Yeah, Cause yeah. my set's getting longer, baby. Where the fitness you be going to? <laughs> oh, so <laughs> I'm never going back to Troy. 
Y'all yeah. ghetto. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I'll be far. I'll be on like 26 miles. I'll be going no. to all the ones. Mm. The other everybody else. Yeah, away from the N words. Yeah. And, <laughs> and to the heated pools. Like, I'm just, I'm bougie now. So, like. Yeah. Hell no. Now, are you uh, in everything off with some motivational words? You got some 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 stuff you want to get to people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm the big CEO. Push shit in motion. I put a nigga on if he ain't got no motion. And that's with anything. I don't care if you need some resumes, you need some clothes, you need some food, whatever you need. You need tutoring. Social Privilege, the neighborhood. And you can follow me at Social Privilege, the neighborhood. Because I believe in the neighborhood and I believe in you from whatever neighborhood you're from. If you need some swimsuits, men and women, I have sizes from small to 3X. So that's dripping honey swim. So you can follow me on there. And if you want to to the best music that uh, your ears ever heard <laughs> that is dripping honey underscore music and i am on all platforms subscribe to my youtube channel and that is dripping honey 313 all together as well mm. and also i got my own perfume that was made in paris y'all can watch the video on youtube too i forgot <laughs> to tell you that For but sure. i got my own perfume so go check that out as well yeah. hey fellas if you ain't on your shit dude, don't talk to uh <laughs> dripping honey because he's <laughs> dripping money in his mouth <laughs> okay next song and i got a new song coming out too mo money yeah hell yeah speaking of mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell no, I appreciate you coming on Thank the show. Thank you, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad we made this happen. You know what I'm saying? She rapping. Y'all niggas be scared. Yeah. Don't be want to rap and shit, man. She out here, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, put niggas on and okay. shit, dog. You I'm feel the big me? CEO. Put shit in motion. I'll put a nigga on if he ain't got no motion. AKA <laughs> Miss Honey Backwood. AKA Miss Frey 29. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Hell yeah, hell yeah. AKA Big uh, Detroit Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Motown yeah. Baby going crazy like the 80s. For Motown sure. Baby going crazy like the 80s. Hell yeah, hell yeah. It's episode 192. Dripping Honey, best podcast in the city, man. Showers, everybody. If you think different, nigga, well, shit, I don't know, nigga, you tripping, man. Trash. Hell yeah, trash, nigga. You trash, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, shout out to Q Lewis, man. We out.